Hello, my name is Dr. Edward Shrinker, and I'm one of the Dharma Initiative that's left. Three of us have survived since the purge, and we've been in hiding for the last several months to years, just trying to survive on this island. The reason we are sticking it out, the reason we have accomplished, they are entirely too important to be left in the hands of the people that remain. When 815 crashed, we thought we had allies. We thought maybe, maybe we have some help, but we were mistaken. As you would expect, they fought hard to try to get back home, and several of them succeeded before the event. Now I'm asking you, those that made it back, if we can get this message to you, we're asking you to come back. When you left John Locke here, when Ben Linus left, things got unstable. And now, everything that this island could have been is in jeopardy. And we are all in danger on and off this island. So I'm asking you, as the last remaining members of the Dharma Initiative, we are begging you for your help. We are going to encode this message with some seen some of the things that have happened on this island to give you an idea of what's been going on. And maybe from that you can gain some clues as to where we are now. We have moved in time and we have moved in space. No one here knows exactly where we are yet. If I could give you any more information, I would, but I can't. Dharma Project I Five one six four two Hugo Hurley Reyes. Mr. Reyes is the prime candidate to seek out, to find, to attempt to persuade back to the island because of his uh, proclivity with the numbers and his connection with the island. He is an excellent candidate to persuade to come back. He also stands a good chance of locating said island, given where others have failed. Also, his friendly and quite attached relationships with the other eight survivors and members of Mr. Reyes. Six. Hello. My name is Matthew Abdel. I'm an attorney from Shenanic Airlines. Can we talk for a few minutes? Okay. Are they still alive? What? You heard me. Nurse! Nurse! Get out of here! You better get out of here! Help me! Help me! He's after me! No, 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 no! no. That guy's after me! Help me! I'd watch out if I were you. What are you talking about, dude? There's a guy over there. He's staring at you. What guy? That guy. Hey, man. Don't run. 
Early. Just, just sit down. I want to talk to you. Come on. Don't do what you did in the store, okay? There's no need to freak out. No need to freak out. I'm trying to buy some jerky and a slushy, and suddenly you're standing there over by the ho hos. You're dead. What do you expect me to do? Can we just sit down? I may be in a mental hospital, but I know you're dead, and I'm not having an imaginary conversation with you. I am dead. But I'm also here. Okay, prove it. die when you swim out there? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Because you would have tried to stop me. And since I was going to do it anyway, I thought I would spare you all the drama. And now you have to do something. But you're hiding from it. That's the real reason you ran when you saw me in the store. You knew I was here to tell you. I'm not listening to this. No, because you're not here. I am here. You're being a baby. I'm going to close my eyes and count to five, and when I open it, you'll be gone. I am here. One. Don't do this. Two. They need you. Three. They need you, Hugo. Four. You know they need you. Five. I should have stayed with you. It's water under the bridge, man. I don't think we did the right thing, Jack. I think it wants us to come back. Hurley. It's gonna do everything it can. We're to never get... going back. Never say never, dude. And one more thing. If you... They're here. They're here. We've got to shut everything down, okay? Yeah, go, go, Jess, run. Got speed to you all. <laughs> <laughs>